Hello my friends and welcome back. It's episode 7. It's the summer here. It's super hot. I'm like wearing the loosest, loosest clothes I possess. Okay, anyway, let's get to work. Let me just double check the sound because it doesn't look 100% correct. I hate that I have to check the sound every time I start recording. It's like, but Windows just constantly fiddles around with the settings. And sometimes, like, it doesn't even look like the settings have changed. And then you go and you go and uh, change it down like one notch and put it back up again and it's and suddenly I'm looking at the sound output and it's correct. It's just horrendous. But anyway. The only uh you know, I don't have the, the, the money to do it really, but the only way to avoid it is to have a clean machine. Which just literally has games uh your recording software and nothing else installed. But uh, that's just not realistic for me. We're here. We can see the bridge from right here. Let me confirm our route. According to the plan of retreat we discussed earlier, we need to take the path northeast to avoid to board the refugee transport. There's an electric barrier on both sides of the bridge we have to cross. We need to find the passcode control terminal. Just punch this passcode in. The electric defences will stop working. Just trust me and use it. Also, the refugee transport won't wait for us. We need to avoid engaging the enemy as much as possible. Okay, pick up all the supplies, snipers did not hit allies, and win within 15 turns. Uh... Okay, there's no way we cover that distance in 15 turns while being stealthed the whole time. It only costs one AP to stealth, so it makes sense to stand up, move across the forest, and then stealth. Six hundred and fifty-five millimeter reinforced barrel. Six point five six point five centimeters. Uh that's that's enormous. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, you know what? If you put a tripwire here, he would, like, run into it and blow himself up. Check his 
sight range, just make sure. Okay, he is the one with the extended sight range. But he shouldn't be able to see me in the trees. Because I won't be in his, like, high grade detection zone. Okay, his detection zone includes these tiles, so I gotta stay down. Our shift is over, let's head back. Shouldn't Robin team be relieving us? That forgetful dumbass didn't check the duty roster, let's go find him. Alright, Robin, if you get the duty roster again, the captain will definitely kick you back to the logistics pass department to wash vegetables. Oh, it's just gonna let me go now. That's interesting. Well, that was weird. I was just thinking about the horrors of the collectibles and how they can be anywhere. Sight range sucks. Let's go. Man, they really want to detect you, huh? Pick up all supplies. Okay, they're all here. Man, they got this down to a friggin' fine art, haven't they? What's the point of patrolling in this blizzard? I can't even see a ghost in this weather. Man, that is some serious sight range he's got. Right, let's just quick save as we head into the next area. That's a huge detection range. What about his, what is his current sight range? Okay, we're gonna have to run to the trees and then like drop down. He can't quite make it. Well, I'm glad I saved before I did that.
The one thing I really, like, dislike about stealth games is often you just have no idea on the first go where, like, the hidden enemies are that will detect you by surprise. Like, I don't see anybody here, so I don't even see why I got detected. Okay, he's gonna move there. But I'm pretty sure that you get detected in the yellow zone. If you're not in cover. I don't know if barricades count as cover. So this is this is the surefire detection zone, and then it's here and here. So here and here should be safe. I'll just have to stay lying down. Oh, there's the guy. There's the other guy. Ugh. Surefire. Dup, dup. Okay, so... I guess I have to go here. Whoa, 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 no shooty. Okay, he doesn't move. Because once he moves here, I won't be able to actually do anything. So I'll have to skip a turn. turns left. Uh, I think we got time. Yep, it's fine. Oh no, that's the surefire detection zone, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, good. Single-use cheat energy bar. Increase accuracy to 100% and deal 150% increased damage for next normal... I'm going to presume normal attack. That the word is just missing. Five turns left. Not plenty of time, but it should be enough time. As long as there's no more enemies up here. Jeff, time for your scheduled patrol. Ah, oh, one should be warming up inside with some alcohol in this goddamn weather. Where's Ivan? Most likely slipped out alone to have a good time. Let's get this patrol done. Oh, some free movement. Hate patrolling in these desolate, godforsaken snowy mountains. Jeff, wait, who the hell are you? Sorry, I was afraid he might hurt you. The gunshot has alerted the enemy, so let's leave quickly. You're such a pain in the ass. Don't get bogged down. Find a chance to quickly get through the forest to the east side. Four turns left.
in your face. Can't get shot by a sniper if he's dead. I kind of want to hit that barrel. AP. Barbed wire barricade is now available for synthesis. Two AP to put it down. God damn, that's enormous. Okay, I don't think that that counts towards failing the mission objective because it hit a turret and not one of my characters. Oof! You got so much run. Slow him down. Ah, she's down. I don't think there's any time to pick her up. I just got unlucky there. I mean, she was in a, uh... Oh man, that put me all the way back here. Let's not. <laughs> um... Restart phase should have put me back to this bit. Wait. 
I just got unlucky that she got hit. That was the bottom line. If she hadn't been hit, could have just run out. Pretty sure that they both had enough AP to actually make it out. So, a little bit annoying. I suppose what I could do, actually, now that we know what's going to happen. That's always the thing with these types of mission, is like, if you know what's going to happen, it's way easier. And sometimes, you need to know what's going to happen. I suppose I could also put down some of that stupid holographic gravel. Time for your patrol! Okay, here we go again. health of these guys got 54 enough to survive the bison Okay, I gotta remember that he can just get up if he gets killed. Oh, uh, I just won't bother with the barricades. This that should be sufficient. Thirty-nine percent chance to hit. It's not great. Oh, nice. They just ran at me like idiots. He can get out. And she can get out. See you later, boys. Oh, I forgot to get the last supply. That was dumb of me. Worry about yourself. Let's not waste any more time.
That was dumb of me. I could very easily, uh... I could very, very easily have done this with uh, S grade. I just forgot about that one supply because I picked it up in the previous attempt. Kind of a silly bonus objective, but anyway. I forgot to go this way, didn't I? Kind of funny how the enemy always aims for the turrets. For whatever reason. Okay. As long as I don't get too unlucky here, I should be good to go. Skip. We're good. Very simple to get out because this is this is road, so it's only one AP to move on it. So with eleven AP, it's very easy to get out. About four kilometers or so. The station is right by the highway. I know a shortcut. I know a shortcut. You just take the F loop part path past the orbital. Okay. Since we have to stay low, we can only travel on foot. Sure, you have enough stamina. Worry about yourself. Let's not waste any more time. There we go. Much better. We're here. Mother. We made it. We won't run into it. We haven't run into any URNC soldiers on the way. This we've escaped from their circle. <laughs> How are you not even the slightest bit out of breath? It wasn't that much exertion. Weren't you all just being all cocky before? <laughs> I was the best long distance runner in service. I've always been very confident in my physical fitness. <laughs> Just ridiculous. When is the refugee transport coming? Our timing is spot on, so it should be about now. Give me your gun so I can collapse it into the material shell. You can blend it with civilians carrying a gun. Don't worry, I have no interest in antique guns. I'll give it back once we get off. Let me tell you, man. A gun will still kill you. A knife will still kill you. You know, a musket will kill your ass. Gun, you know, it doesn't matter that the gun is old. A lot of old rifles were actually built with more care and attention and better materials than a lot of the modern stuff. So the old, uh, 
the old British favourite, the SKS. Not the S. Was it the SKS? I can't remember now. They're. Uh, I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look it up now. It's gonna plague my head. It was the rifle before the LA-80, or the SA-80 as it's known out there. Um, uh, the LA-86A2 is what it was referred to actually inside the service. Uh, the A1 is like was used for practices, practice and uh, given to recruits because it's garbage. But anyway, there was a, there was the rifle before it. Which uh, it was still highly favoured. Not the Enfield. Uh, SLR. I don't know why I said SKS. It was the SLR. And, uh, you know, people wanted to hang on to them because they were really accurate. <laughs> You know, you get shot shot in the head with it, you're still gonna die. And put on this cape, you look too conspicuous. Keep a low profile from now on. Mm. Okay, that's what they said. Um, do you require assistance? ダイ27Q円大使所属 Taijo leader. I'm pretty sure that that just means leader, not captain. Maybe it does. Taijo! Taijo! I'm, I'm pretty sure that means leader, not captain. It just bugs me that I just noticed so many like flaws with the translation, it's actually driving me mad. But my Japanese is not good enough for me to 100% say that they are problems until I go into Google Translate and uh, uh, and uh, double check it. Yeah, Captain is Kyaputin. Kyaputin. Oh, it's Captain. It's another stolen English word. Kyaputin. 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 I can, I can see how it would be said that way in Japanese. I'm pretty sure Taijo is leader. No, leader is Rita. Hmm. Actually, I have heard Rita be used before. Problem is, I can't spell it in Japanese. That's a... Oh, it might be partner. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be partner. Oh my god, it's a Nyan girl. Oh no, partner's eyeball. I I, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that because of the umbrella scene in Squid Girl. It's hilarious. If you've never watched Squid Girl, it looks like a kid's show, but it's actually like full of adult humor. And uh, there's this bit where she gets overly attached to an umbrella and she and the wind grabs it out of her hand and a car runs it over. And she's like, eyeball! No! Which is like, and then there's like, you know, rain and it's it's making a mockery of classic detective shows. Pretty funny if you get the references. Not so loud, Ruby. I am Captain Squadgy. 
cat girl. Hast da. I'm Hurst, this is my little sister Lisa from Squad F201. We'd like to hitch a ride and return to the security zone. This is my ID card, you can confirm my identity. This squad is led by an outdated doll. I don't suspect a colleague with a verifiable legal identity with no that neural cloud of theirs. Let's just get out of here. The old woman and the children are closer than that man seems to be more obtrusive. He's very on edge, too anxious. What is he so worried about? It's gonna be a long ride, we should stay out of trouble. What a ruckus, can't you make her shut up? I think she said, what is your problem? Nani, Nani is what? In case you didn't know. If you watched any anime, you probably heard, heard them characters say it a million times. Or if you read any memes. Nani, like what? But as, as I keep saying, my Japanese is, is rudimentary. So, you know, it's not... It's not a hundred percent, like it's not even fifty percent. But I just I know when the translation is wrong because some the words I recognise don't match up with the text I'm reading. And you know I just I really prefer it that they would just literally translate what is being said, especially when English is like perfectly fine to translate it. You know. You should take it easy, Yuri. We will be there soon. Look at you, you're scaring the children. See, once again, he said something about who cares about their feelings? He used kimochi, which means feelings. But this is not in this text anywhere. He said kimochi. That does mean feelings. From this context, I can probably guess that he means, you know, who cares about their feelings or how they feel. Which, you can pr you could say that perfectly fine in English. So why... why change it? I know, it's just a bit annoying. <laughs> If I didn't, you know, if I didn't have a rudimentary knowledge of Japanese, it wouldn't bother me, but I do, so it bothers me. <laughs> See, I'm not sure he said this either, because weird is hen. We discussed this before. He didn't say hen. I didn't hear him say hen. So... He didn't. He definitely didn't literally use the word weird. He used some other word. Yeah, he didn't use weird. He used some other word. Probably a more offensive word. I don't think hen is that offensive. But he obviously said something offensive enough to get old Mando. Uh, sorry, Mondo. Because this is wrong. Is you know his name is wrong. It's Mondo. You hear people say it. It's Mondo, not Mendo. <laughs> Behaving all shifty like you're obviously not from around these parts. And that shit's hair. It's white. Okay. He said she looks like a monster. That's really harsh. He didn't say this. 
he said Bakumono, which is monster. She looks like a monster. What? Why? Ah, it bothers me so much. It's otherwise a really fun game, but this translation is hot garbage. What are you doing? Say that again. We're just making it back to the rescue team. Don't use violence on unrelated civilians. Everyone is just trying to get out of the contamination zone alive. I'm really sorry about that, he's feeling a bit restless. Don't take it to heart. <laughs> well, he called her a monster. Like, that's really, like, Deb's fighting words. He has, like, a right to be outraged. Are you headed for Mineral Water City? Say purification towers are still working. In the summer distributing supplies. Hell's a purification tower. Okay. Towers that decontaminate yellow zones. God, this reads like it's out of Command and Conquer's plot. There's also an organization operating over there, but we're not related to them, so we'll be getting off before that. Nice to spend more time together. I hope so. There are the military has been tightening security on their end and the bandits aren't as brazen as they used to be. Do my tightening security. The rescue foundation drive their transports through inspection zones to check if any of the passengers are at ELID carriers. At most they'll come on board and get people at once over. How can the military care about the lives of us refugees when it's setting up inspection posts only recently? Probably think that we should at least keep up some appearances now that the Global Rescue Foundation is here. Why'd you lose your temper all of a sudden? That, that asshole called you a monster! That's what he called her. A monster. Not a freak. You can use the word monster. Should have kept my hair more properly concealed. Most likely pass through a UN URNC checkpoint later. I've got to be more careful. Can't imagine how you managed to slip away from the URNC with that eye-catching white hair of yours. I will shave my head if it comes to that. No, you won't. <laughs> how are we going to sell copies of the game if you shave your head? It hardly matters. It will grow back soon enough. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> then don't. Why don't you use this time to rest up and prepare for the next checkpoint? Two hours later. That's even sooner than I expected. Someone's stopping the transport. Don't worry, it's not bandits. They're URNC soldiers. Stop! 
Keep your mouth shut. He's soldiers aren't in the same unit as the ones that are pursuing us. My weapon's hidden anyway. They won't be able to detect anything with their equipment. How have you been storing your rifle? Line up the barrel and frame the gun with the seat. The body of the gun is made of wood, which is difficult to detect. No one will detect my weapon at all unless they're particularly meticulous with the inspection. So that's why you chose to wield a wife rifle of all things. It's one of many reasons. What are the other reasons? Non-standard issue weapons are hard to trace. Same goes for ammunition. Why not an automatic weapon? Isn't a traditional rifle a bit inefficient in battle? I fell in love with this rifle the moment I saw it. Also feels just right in my hands. I've no desire to wield any other weapon. I expect you to be so attached to it. Not really, but I do hope you consider the problem of procuring ammo. I'm afraid, doesn't dame mean but? As in, blah blah blah, but blah blah blah. Is something wrong? Just do as I say, no questions. What are you shouting for? You're scaring Lena. Will we be okay? The driver is off to talk to the soldiers. Hopefully they won't make things too difficult. It might not come to that. Let's see how the dolls handle this. She's never worse. The target is me. We don't have to drag the dolls and refugees into this. I bet it's that Yuri guy that they're after. Charge out, create commotion while they still aren't ready for battle, and then slip away. Then what? Do you think it will do these refugees any good if we just leave them where they are? What do you suggest? Obviously, most ideal if we can bluff our way out of this. According to these soldiers, they've detected a very strong transmission source of all the transport. There appears to be a severely infected individual amongst the group. Who is it? Please come forward. It's not me, it must be you, you old hag. We've been through multiple checkpoints since we boarded the transport. Now I think about it, we haven't been through any checkpoints ever since you came on board. It must be you. Each of you came on board, this transport would only, would only transport mildly affected individuals. Severely infected individuals will be picked up by special transports arranged by our organization. I don't know why you would want to deceive us, but rest assured that our rescue foundation will not leave anyone behind. Now, please disembark the transport and cooperate with the military's inspection. We will accompany you until the special transport arrives. Do we fight? It hasn't come to that yet. I've activated the human targeting protocol on these dolls. We can't get off from sending the dolls out to try and talk the soldiers out of this one last time. It's that Yuri guy. There's some small gifts from our rescue team. Sure, your officers are more important to worry about us, nobody's. Problematic if the next checkpoint intercepts them and questions us for granting them passage. Well, 
闇貴様ここまで上手をしてもらう剣さんは何か隠し事が必要だ急げ今誰も名乗らない以上全員車おお行きたいやつだけ行けばいい Oh god, this guy is so infected. <laughs> It's so obvious. This is like the guy who's been bitten in Resident Evil. And he knows it. Just get off for all of our sakes, Yuri. You're a grown man, can't you act like it? You don't expect me or Auntie Donna to stay behind, do you? Look at his arm, it's completely sacilified. The overall effects of conversion are from a carbon based life form to a silicon based one, although most creatures die early on. Some infected creatures manage to undergo genetic recombination, becoming mindless and highly aggressive infected individuals. Oh, right. I knew something was off about you, you lied to us. Severely infected individual. I'm not infected, it's not me. Don't have time to explain this to higher ups. You have no idea what a pain these rescue foundation members are. The higher ups don't have to know about this. Go tell the vice chief that an infected one tried to break through. Let them come and handle this situation. Think you're actually harboring a severely infected individual? New York to no good. Human targeting protocol has been authorized. What kind of people are you? There's no time to explain. Defend yourselves. Are we really firing at humans? Won't this cause some very serious problems? Who cares? I'm tired of dealing with these bribe taking soldiers anyway. Since they made the first move, we won't sit here and take it. The dolls will have the situation under control. Let's get out of here. I thought you didn't want them to get involved. You just leave the dolls and refugees here, they won't stand a chance. I did say that, but I believe it's more accurate to say that we're getting dragged into this mess, not the other way around. The URNC's reinforcements will be here in no time and will be exposed soon enough. Wait here while I help them. I guess in the next time loop, she'll just kill Yuri. <laughs> Before he can cause a problem. Kitty cat robo girls. Just what you always wanted. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I want here. This barrel size is like immense. 6.5 centimeters, there's no way. That should be like 65 millimeter, not 650 millimeter. Surely. 0.65 of a centimeter makes sense. 6.5 centimeters is like artillery caliber. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. I'm going to try and not let the mistranslation bother me in what is an otherwise really fun game. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.